everyone welcome back to spectrum classes in this video we are going to solve one problem based on proton nmr the question is in the 1h nmr spectrum recorded at 293 kelvin and organic compound c387no exhibit signals at delta 7.8 for one proton singlet 2.8 3h protons and singlet and 2.6 3h singlet the compound is these are the options the highlighted values we will take first and then we will try to solve the problem this is the molecular formula is given so if molecular formula is given then first you have to check the double bond equivalence so what is double bond equivalence here for this formula so double bond equivalence can be calculated by the formula c minus number of protons or number of hydrogen atoms divided by 2 plus number of nitrogen atoms divided by 2 minus number of halogens divided by 2 plus 1. No halogen is there so we will discard this term from this formula. Now this is the molecular formula and we will put the values in this formula to calculate the double bond equivalence. So here number of carbon atoms are 3, number of hydrogen atoms are 7 so minus 7 by 2 plus number of nitrogen atom is 1, 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and after solving this we will get 1. So this molecule is having one double bond. Out of these four options, three options are having double bond only. This D option is not having the double bond. So we can discard this option at that grounds. But in my opinion here, maybe these options are given incorrect because such type of options are not given in the question now we are just collecting the chemical shift values which are given in this question so here are the chemical shift values three peaks we are getting but here the compound c is having methyl proton methyl and proton and all are magnetically in different environment for this type of molecule we should have four different peaks so on that ground this option is also cancelled now we are left with A and B. So this chemical shift value suggests that CHO group is there. So here in this option we are having CHO group, aldehyde group. And here in this option we are having double bond H which is nearby to oxygen atom. Secondly, methyl is attached to nitrogen. Methyl is attached to oxygen. So these two should have high variation in the chemical shift value because oxygen is more electronegative as compared to the nitrogen. This option is also not resembles to the values which are given over here. In addition to that, Temperature is also given in this question. So temperature suggests that the methyl groups which are present in this molecule are in the same kind of environment which is time averaged at high temperature. Spectrum is recorded at low temperature just, just to record the chemical inequivalence of the molecule. So all such conditions and these chemical shift values uh, indicates that option A is the most appropriate answer for such type of problem. Now we are going to discuss whether it is correct or not. So here is the formula which we proposed according to the option A. So here this molecule is having methyl, methyl, C double bond O and H. Uh, here if we see this type of molecule then these, these methyl groups are in chemically same environment. So here in this molecule we will see three different effects as I told you in my previous video. Inductive effect which we observed here is for nitrogen and oxygen are the electronegative groups which draw the electron density from the proton. Here oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. Due to the rotation about this carbon nitrogen, these two methyl groups are in chemically and magnetically same environment because time average environment is there about these methyl methyl groups. Inductive effect alone cannot explain the observed chemical shift values. Now the resonance effect. So here how the resonance is possible in this molecule. The nitrogen atom is having lone pair of electron and it can readily donate its electron to this bond. If it donates its electron towards this bond, this pi bond will shift it to oxygen. 
here so we will get the new structure like this nitrogen methyl methyl double bond oxygen and hydrogen if double bond is there means restricted rotation in the restricted rotation this methyl group is near to this oxygen and this methyl group is near to this hydrogen and apart from that this molecule is planar because we are having sp2 hybridization for these two so this molecule is planar and for this pi bond how it is formed it is formed by the p orbital sidewise overlapping this molecule is planar and perpendicular to this plane of this molecule we are having p orbitals and those p orbitals will form the magnetic anisotropy here this structure is suggested by the observed chemical shift value because of this restricted rotation we are having these two methyl groups in chemically as well as magnetically in different environments now the magnetic anisotropy since both methyl groups are resonate at different chemical shift value here i'll give you the example of alkene molecule this molecule is resembles to that so here we are having the magnetic anisotropy and just because of that these methyl groups resonate at different chemical shift value because this methyl is cis to this oxygen therefore this methyl group resonates at higher delta value than this methyl so here i have kept all the chemical shift values so in my opinion this methyl group resonates at 2.8 because it is in nearby to this oxygen and this methyl group resonates at 2.6 in some of the books these chemical shift values are interchanged so on that basis we are having this option a is correct this molecule is a very familiar and and dimethyl formamide this is used as a solvent dmf so i hope you find the concepts which have been discussed in this video helpful for you to solve some other questions so if you like this video please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up thank you all thanks for watching